let's make part number five crankshaft for wobbler steam engine so this is your crankshaft all units are in inches now here see this is the for web corner radius you will see 11 by 32 then here one uh, this half radius this corner radius 3 by 32 this upper circular radius 3 by 32 now there is two hole you will see in side side view this dotted line shows there is a hole so 5 by 32 and 3 by 32 the thickness of this web 5 by 32 so let's make this and this center distance 1 by 4 inch okay and uh, here we will make this all three parts separate because this pin goes inside and this shaft also goes inside front plane before going to choose any plane we have to change unit edit documents unit documents unit unit ips here choose and fraction i am going to choose one to up to one to 128 fractions maximum will makes your job easy front plane is sketch now activate circle tool and let me draw two circles okay press escape key to out activate line tool draw one line from this half from half circle line and connect to this press escape key to out now activate center line draw one center line press escape key to out My mirror entity now here i am going to choose these two lines which is going to be mirror make sure we selected copy mirror about the reference line this is going to be our reference line and here you will see this preview okay now before going to apply any dimensions first i am going to trim so activate trim entity power trim in options and press and hold left mouse and drag over the line which you want to trim see leave cursor and move your mouse again press and hold left mouse and drag I'll do same for all. Now see. Okay. Now activate smart dimension. Now this is going to be 11 by 32. Now this upper radius 3 by 32 inch. Now the height 1 by 4 inch activate here sketch fillet before going to fill any entities just make sure fillet parameters apply 3 by 32 now select these two corners now apply and close see here now here okay hole we will make in lex extrude now start condition same end condition direction one keep blind and make reverse because this is our main plane now here you have to apply the thickness so it's going to be 5 by 32 inch say okay now let's make hole here so select this face sketch now activate circle now i am going to draw hole here one hole from origin point press escape key to out now here select this outer edge hold shift key select this circle and leave shift key and you will see this pop up or left side you will see cordial tangential co-centric so i am going to choose this smart dimension now define diameter 3 by 32 inch now this one it's going to be 5 by 32 inch and activate extruded cut feature here choose the in direction through all so we don't need to define any dimension it will cut up to the end look now let's create a pin so i'm going to choose now see this pin 3 by 36 it is goes up to end and uh, this shaft diameter 3 by 16 1 by 1 and 1 by 4 inch and it will go inside also so we will make these three parts separately let's see select this face sketch now select this sur corner circle because the diameter is equivalent to 
pin convert entity now extrude now in direction 1 let's define dimension 3 by 16 inch activate di direction 2 here choose up to surface now select this surface now you will see the preview and here unmerge result because we want to save as a different body okay now here you will see two bodies now rod we will create with the help of revolve boss base feature so choose here right plane sketch now just change preview this one okay activate here line tool up to this face press escape key to out now select this line as a construction line now these diameter select this line and move cursor you will see the diameter 3 by 16 inch and uh, this diameter uh, the whole diameter is 5 by 32 okay select this line shift escape key now this one press one space bar one by four inch now it is fully defined sketch revolve boss base now due to this construction line these profiles are open so system asks you would you like the sketch to be automatically closed say yes now here I am going to select shaded view by default system took this unmerge result 360 degree blind because I want to create one solid body see this is the third result there is a fillet 0 0.01 0 0.01 all the flanges even if you see in detail now activate fillet fillet type constant size before going to select any age or face I am going go to fillet parameter symmetric and here put radius 0 0.01 and I am going to select these two corners first even though you can select this corner delete face ok it's difficult to select this uh, corner so this is body face you can't select any other body's corner ok again activate fillet same everything same I am going to select these two faces ok again activate fillet this time I am going to select this face because I want to keep fillet on both side you can't select this uh, body ok fillet select I want to create only this side not inside ok now apply material edit material the material is 6061 alloy 6061 alloy still you will see all the properties of material just click apply and you will see the change but appearance we don't want this one so go to appearance this is the default color edit appearance from here and this is our ap appearance now save this one wobbler steam engine crankshaft thanks for watching